<laughs> yeah, that's one of my sound effects. <laughs> What's going on guys? Lobo Pixel here, back at it again with another video. For today, we're gonna be talking about channel points on Twitch. I feel like people would prefer a pressing a button, instant gratification, sound effect happens, everyone's happy, everyone gets a good laugh. It's really simple, really easy, free for everybody to use. There's older versions on how to do this, but I'm gonna show you the newest version and I'm gonna show you guys how I did it and how it worked for me. And I can't wait to see what, what sound effects you guys come up with. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Loba Pixel. I'm a Twitch streamer, content creator, experienced photographer, and I've been diving deep into the gaming content world, streaming world as well. And I've been really enjoying myself putting out content exactly like this. So if you guys are liking what you're seeing, consider subscribing and give the video a thumbs up it helps the channel tremendously you have no idea by the way before jumping into obs i do want to let you guys know that i am going to leave the links in the description below the trigger fire discord down below in the link below um they're the ones doing all this for us so thank them they have an amazing community and they have an amazing um support group that really helps you with all the technical stuff you know so if you guys have any questions whatsoever make sure to join their discord they will help you out they helped me out a lot i had a lot of questions and i was stuck a few times and they're there to help and they're really cool people so everyone there is really friendly make sure to join their discord so we're gonna head on over to the trigger fire discord we're gonna go in there and the first thing you're gonna want to go to is go to the dump section once you get to the dump section you're gonna want to put exclamation point trigger fire so you can join the discord what you're gonna want to do is go to updates and in updates there's gonna be obs web socket plugin that you're gonna want to download it's a free download i want to go all the way at the bottom depending on what you use for your stream or for your OBS or whatever program you're using, you have for the Mac and the Windows. I downloaded Windows because that's what I'm using. So once you're done downloading that, download it, say it's gonna tell you to save and you save it and bada boom, bada bing, you're done with that. When you download it, you're gonna wanna go to tools and then WebSocket server settings. This little box is gonna pop up, gonna enable WebSocket server. This automatically checks this for you. This is the section where you can put the password. If you want to put a password, it's not recommended. You don't have to do it. As long as these server ports have the four fours, it should be good and it should be working. Once you check that and you're ready to go, you can go back to the trigger fire website to start on your sounds. After you're done downloading the WebSocket, you're going to want to go into the trigger fire link to go into the website. When you get to this part, you're going to want to log into your Twitch channel. Once you've logged in, make sure that you have your OBS or whatever streaming software that you're using. Make sure that you have it open at the same time as the trigger fire website is open. That way you can press this button connect and it could connect easily and smoothly. So once you go connect, it's going to give you a little noise, whatever, to let you know that the WebSocket is connected to OBS. You're going to want to press this pink button. You're going to copy this link. You're going to want to go into OBS and add it as a browser source. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. You're going to want to add a browser source, right? We could just put test for this. You're going to want to put that link that you got. You're going to want to put it here. I'm not going to put it, but you're going to want to put it right here where it says URL. Once you're done with that, then you should be good to go. Now we can start adding a sound effect. The way you're gonna wanna add a sound effect is you're gonna wanna go to this little add button right here. Make sure that all the names are the exact same. Your command name is exactly the same. The reward settings, reward name is the exact same and the ones on your Twitch channel are the same. It should work from there. Let's just do background change, right? So we're gonna save this. We're gonna go back to here. We're gonna paste that. Boom, we're gonna go back here and do the same exact thing. So I just showed you guys how to do this. Boom, perfect. Now you select your sound. I already have my sound. It's actually kind of funny. Hold on, let me just upload it real quick for you guys. I got one right here, ready to go. So you're gonna look for it, boom, right? And now you're gonna listen to it. Imagination. Now that you have your sound, now you save it. Now that we have it here, now we could go back into our Twitch channel. I'm gonna give you guys an example. I'm gonna show you guys the wow. It should work, right? So that one works, right? But for instance, let's say I just added the one I wanted, which is pixel background change. It doesn't work. Now, the reason why this isn't working is because you have to refresh the cache. I don't even know how to say that word. Cache, cache, cache. I don't know what the word it is. So this button down here, you're gonna want to spam it. Like I literally press it a bunch of times just to make sure it's refreshed, done. 
bada boom bada bing once you refresh that it should start working if it doesn't then maybe it's the way you typed out the word sometimes that can happen too imagination see that it worked congratulations you just made your first sound effect on your Twitch channel with some Twitch points. Isn't that amazing? It's so cool. This makes it so simple to do. And I really appreciate all the people that are a part of Trigger Fire for like putting this out there for all the content creators that wanna like step up their game with their content. You know, this helps a lot and it's really cool and it's free. That's the thing that's amazing about this. I really hope that this video brought you some type of value. I hope this steps up your game within streaming and I hope it adds a little spice to your channel. Hey guys, if you made it to the end of this video tutorial, let me know what you guys think. What kind of sound effects are you gonna come up with? I mean, there's so many endless possibilities, right? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if this brought you any type of value and give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel tremendously. You have no idea. Link for my Twitch channel is right down below. Make sure to check me out. I go live, have some fun with some friends. You know what I'm saying? I have an awesome Pixel Fam community that's very helpful very friendly everybody's awesome in there thank you so much for watching this video and i hope to catch you guys on the next one peace oh bye